<laughs> Yo -ho -ho. What up guys and welcome back to another one. We're opening the video a little bit different today for the main reason being that when I got in the truck it was like 18 degrees. It's been extremely cold here in central Kansas and I knew that getting these silhouettes into the ground was going to be an absolute undertaking and that's what it was. Oh but check it out we got them up. We literally had to take hammers and mallets to every one of them to get all 20 we got like 22 dozen in the ground right now so what we did is uh, Jackson has the flocked heads he has like two dozen of those and then I have the non flocked heads and so we put all of Jackson's flocked heads right up here in the kill hole hunting off the end of that tree row right there you see the old panel blind back there oh yeah but it is uh, January 4th. It is January 4th and uh, it's going to be a good little hunt. There has been at minimum a thousand birds in this field every day. All darts, all lessers, all small birds. It should be good. I'm hoping. It should be. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, trying not to jinx myself. So, but if you guys haven't went over to the duckswaterfowl.com website, check out the new thermal hoodies. I know I've shown you them before, but they are warm. It's only like 18 degrees out here, and that's what I got on. It's nice. Birds up. Oh, we got birds on the way. So, I'll link the hoodie, the hat, down in the description below. Go check it out. Let's get this bad boy underway. This panel blind is looking fierce, boys. Goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh boy, we got a group of five or six coming right at us, haven't even clucked yet, and they are beelining it. Oh, there's, I'm going to give them some call in action. Come on. They're coming right at us, but I guarantee you they're going to swing right like they did. Ooh, that's either a good swing or a bad swing. Come on, you big old suckers. Oh my god, dude. Look at all these birds and they don't want to do anything. Well, just got into them. Good. We got another big group working here. I'll vlog you here in a minute. Oh, boys, they're loving it. <laughs> that worked. We just shoot what's on the ground. Just whatever is close to the ground. Take If it's only five birds, make sure you just kill what's on the ground. <laughs> Exactly what we did on that good big group. I know. Another good group coming right at us. I'm trying the no calling deal here. It seems like my calling kind of messed the last group up just a hair bit. So let's see how they act with no calling for a minute. Well, out of that first group that absolutely gave it up, the front edge of that group absolutely did it dirty. We dropped eight out of that group and they were all five foot off the ground. It was nice. But we've had a lot of groups come to the edge of the decoys. I don't know, shy probably 15 yards. It ends up being like a 45 yarder and they just come so freaking hard and then they put on the brakes and boof. It, they don't really flare, it's just like they get close and they're like, yeah, I don't know. It's not that they really just don't like it a lot, it's just they get weary. So we're hoping that we get some rebound birds that come back over this way. It seems like if they come back across from the north instead of coming directly from the roost, 
they're a little more tempted to uh, to give it up. But group really likes it. <laughs> they came back with a vengeance there. Come on, boys. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Come on, give it up. These ones really, really want it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, right here in front of us, three of them getting low ish. Now they picked up and swang. They just be swanging. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Get ready. Take the two. There we go. Downed one. That was a far shot, but we had to take it. They were going to give us one pass and one pass only. Go get that bird now. Go get that bird. Oh, that was a far shot. It was about a 35 yarder, but we had to take it. Had to take it. These birds, they give you one pass like that. If they don't go feet down, they give you that 30, 40 yard pass. And there's those two were right beside each other. Oh, no band. That's a honk, Daddy. There, that ain't no lesser. It's a big old honker right there. Well, just got one more down. I uh, I haven't got to run the big camera one time. I've been calling so much and, and shooting. Been a lot of fun. We've actually been having a lot better luck as the morning progresses here. Let's see what time it is. It is 9:31, and there's just starting to have fun here they're starting to give it up so but later in the morning this 9 30 the wind has really picked up it's ripping probably 12 10 mile an hour so going a lot better well this darn go this darn gopro did not turn on finally got a volley to work and i do not know why this stupid gopro did not turn on golly that really aggravates me when this camera does that honestly what do we drop four yeah, we dropped four total here. I know I got one. No bands, huh? Well, four more down. That was a good shooting. Those birds, I know I didn't get it on camera, but those birds, they went down right in the middle of, right here. That's where we shot them. So it was still about a 30 yard shot to the blind, but wasn't too bad. What do you got you there? A little lesser. A little lesser. Look at the chubby little guy. Me or the lesser? <laughs> well, you're a little chubby, but you're not too small, so. Look at the ducks. Oh, oh ducks are closed right now, and we get to do this. We get to sit here and watch him decoy on us. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Ducks are closed. We have an awful split here in Kansas. I mean, it really, really hurts because the ducks are just abundant right hey, now everywhere. Are... There, we got lessers coming down right now. <laughs> oh, these darn ducks. That is not fair, boys. Some things in life just ain't fair, and this is one of them. It's horrible. Every, t every year during this split, the ducks do this every single time. You can scout a field, go hunt a field, not see a duck one, but when the split's here, sh ducks show up every time. Oh yeah. Every time. Good every time. time. It's, it, gets, it gets bad. It gets annoying. Oh, right, yeah. Landon's depressed. You okay, Dimmit? Oh, this is... Oh, he ain't doing it at all. He spun. He might come back though, boys. Get ready. Uh, oh 
man, I've been sitting here eating these snacks all darn morning. What do you got for snacks, Jackson? What do you got over there? Bugles. They're gone. <laughs> you already ate them all? Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. What are you boys snacking on down there? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Dude, Mountain Dew is the blind special right there. It's the energy. It is. Look at that. I'm telling you, you, you boys know. Mountain Dew all day. But I, I run with the diet. This is this is like free promotion. I'm not affiliated with them by any means. You guys seen it on one of the last videos. But I'm telling you right now, I don't know if they're across the nation yet, but here in Kansas, we got these Dots pretzels. And you can get them at Quick Shop or convenience stores. And they're like $5.99 a bag for a pound of these things. And I can tell you they are the most addictive blind snack I've ever had in my life. I was, I was addicted to uh, my goose sticks and my jerky for a while. And when I tasted those buttery, little, tasty, heaven-in-your-mouth bites that they are, yeah, it, was, it got me hook, line, and sinker. I'm completely addicted now. I think I went through four bags of those in the last two weeks. Probably have to shoot them on the left side here. Ooh. Oh, oh. Should I try it? No. The <laughs> Go. Oh, well, got one down. Got one. down. Yeah, it was. It was a little far shot. Yeah. They picked up. It got to that point. They went, uh, and they started to turn. So, had to call it. They down one though. I pretty much shot my limb, and I know I'm probably one one away. But I knew I wanted to. I have to film with this big camera more, man. I get too used to shooting and running that head mount, and I know you guys like it. Some of you don't. If you do like the GoPro on my head, drop a comment down below and let me know. Or if you're just one of them guys who are like, you know what, Bobby? I can't stand the GoPro. Please have the big camera going. Drop a comment down below and just let me know. Because I appreciate it. Band? No band. No band. No band. Golly. Dang it. No band. Been waiting for a band all gosh darn year man oh well it's about 10 30 we're calling it uh, i haven't had a group come for a while here they're flying on by and going right back to the water but i can tell you without the dive bomb silhouettes and the uh spring steel stakes yeah look how thin they are if you haven't seen them we would not have got these decoys in the ground if we had not had those hands down full body stakes look at this Well, another group came and checked it out. Back to what I was saying, those dive bomb spring steel stakes, honestly, if we didn't have those, we wouldn't have hunted today. If we would have had full bodies or even the thick fiberglass uh, socks, any stakes like that, they would not have went in. It's so hard, so froze. What's your thoughts on the whole deal? It was fun. It was fun. That it's one group the, was really nice. Spring seals in the ground, but they did, they did the job. Yeah, yeah. like Jackson said, we actually even had to use mallets to get them bad boys in. They were not going in by hand. Not a bad little line. Yeah, look at that. Not a bad little deal for five guys and big volleys that didn't want to give it up very bad. Not bad at all. We got that big boy on the end. That's a big old honk daddy. The rest are mostly cacklers. Got a few lessers in there. But today we shot the bigs and the smalls. It's crazy the difference in species when you're talking about Canada geese. Big old honkers, lessers, and cacklers. Awesome shoot. Oh, look at that. First time I get to use the old trailer. You guys know that I've been waiting to finally use the trailer. Check it out here. I haven't got much done in here at all. But what's nice is put all the dive bombs up front. Got my little shelf up there. Got my bibs. I absolutely love this trailer. I am in love with this trailer. I cannot wait to get the light on the side of it though. We gotta get that done. Thank you boys, that was a good hunt. Oh, yeah. That was fun. We killed 15 total. Not bad for how many actually went feet down. We could have sky busted a lot of them, but we wanted to call close shots today. That's what we did. 15 total, five guys, not bad. Oh, well, we are back home here. Got everything done. And let me tell you what, I can just sit back and stare at that beauty all day long. Yep, that pretty girl right there. 
I am absolutely in love with my trailer. It's so nice to finally have my own trailer. It's nice, it's new, it's clean, it's mine. I get to do what I want with it. I'm gonna start hanging some hooks in there so I can hang all my duck floaters, my waders. Everything I need is gonna be in there at all times, plus the quad. But, like always, we come back to the house and I give you my, my thoughts of how it went, how it went good, how it went bad, and just my two cents on the whole deal. I really wish I would have been able to run the big camera more, but I was the only one calling, and that's fine. I love calling. I love working the geese. You know me. Long story short, I, I'm hoping I got some of the footage of the birds working and how I worked them. Uh, the ones that did it, we had two groups that did it really good. The first group, which uh, I had on film, and then the second group that did it real well, where the GoPro, it would crapped out on me. Them darn snows. We got snows everywhere. Sorry. But I had to work the groups a lot. They spun a lot. They circled a lot. They liked it. They didn't like it. So the groups that committed, I had to hammer them on the call. I mean, I quickly learned. I was kind of trying to decide between the two. I was like, eh, light calling, no calling, or a lot of calling. So I, I kept going in between. And these birds, they wanted to be called moderately too hard all the way to the ground. So the ones that did it, I really hammered on them all the way to the ground. So if there's anything to take from this video and something that I kind of stuck in the old memory bank and learned today, always try to call a lot. Always, if, if it isn't working, back off the calling. See what it does. See how they respond to it. And literally I had to go back and forth two to three times and then finally I was like, yep, they're going to want some clucking action. But other than that, awesome little hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, give your boy a big old thumbs up. And you guys, seriously, you got to let me know down in the comments. What do you guys want me to do next? It's January. Darks, Canada's are about the only thing open right now. Canada's and snows. Specs are closed and ducks are closed. So if you guys have an idea for a video, a how-to video, a hunt, let me know down below. You guys have to drop your comments down below. But like I was saying earlier, if you guys are interested in a duck's thermal hoodie or a duck's hat, I will link both of these items down in the description below. Go click the link and check them out. But again, thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.